This might be the world's craziest skyline tonight. Behind me, more than 11,000 drones are lifting off. These are the new drones made by China, and if you're not scared, there's something wrong with you. Guys, this is why I say China is living in 2050. Right now, I'm in Shenzhen, the tech hub of China. So behind me, you can see this is a drone delivery. It means they don't deliver food by man, they deliver food by a drone. This is China's first drone mothership. Yes, a drone mothership. And here's everything that you need to know about it. It's being called the Jutian SSUAV. And according to Beijing, it's capable of deploying more than 100 drones and missiles. Yes, that includes the kamikaze types as well. Hey besties. Buckle up because China just lit up the skies and the internet, literally. The country deployed 11,787 drones in a jaw-dropping display that shattered the Guinness World Record and left even the Pentagon blinking. We're not just talking about a pretty light show. These were autonomous, AI-synced, sky-commanding machines that signaled something more serious. China's not just in the game, they're setting the rules. And what was the US response? A quiet admission that nobody wants war with China. Yeah, let that sink in. Tonight. We're diving into this jaw-dropping drone show and its deeper implications. From Guinness World Records to military signaling, from swarm tech to strategic anxiety, China is making noise and the world is listening. So grab your snacks, grab your sanity, and let's get into it. This might be the world's craziest skyline tonight. Behind me, more than 11,000 drones are lifting off, lighting up the skyline of Chongqing tonight. On May 1, 2024, China's skies turned into a literal LED battlefield of coordination and dominance. In the city of Zhuhai, 
Over 11,787 synchronized drones took flight in a dazzling coordinated performance that crushed the previous record of 5,200 drones. The sheer scale of the operation wasn't just about flair, it was a flex of technological coordination. Guinness World Records was on site. China didn't just participate, they dominated. This wasn't the first time China has done this either. In recent years, drone shows have become their signature move, replacing fireworks in cities like Shanghai and Beijing. But this one was different. Each drone was equipped with AI-powered software, real-time 3D positioning, and edge computing capabilities. This was no random celebration. It was a coordinated technological demonstration. And the message was clear. China owns the skies now. Right after this record-breaking show, the tone from Washington shifted. U.S. defense officials, including Pentagon insiders, were quoted saying, nobody wants war with China. It's not just a coincidence. That's a strategic recalibration. The same week this drone display went viral, U.S. naval intelligence analysts were circulating memos about unconventional warfare tech coming out of China. It's important to understand this isn't just about drones. It's about the future of warfare. Swarm technology, like what China just showcased, is the next frontier in military dominance. One Pentagon insider even admitted, a swarm that large could overwhelm an aircraft carrier in seconds. And here's the thing, China just demonstrated they can pull it off flawlessly. So the US pivoted to diplomacy, because when your opponent shows they can flood the sky with nearly 12,000 drones, maybe saber rattling isn't the move. This is China's first drone mothership. Yes, a drone mothership, and here's everything that you need to know about it. It's being called the Jutian SSUAV, and according to Beijing, it's capable of deploying more than 100 drones and missiles. Yes, that includes the kamikaze types as well. It's being reported that the drone mothership has a wingspan of 82 feet that's capable of transporting not only 100 UAVs, but about 2,200 pounds of missiles at a cruising altitude of around 9 miles in the sky. That includes not only cruise missiles, but also medium-range air-to-air missiles as well, such as the PL-12E. Do keep in mind, that would make it capable of flying well above many of the medium-range defense systems located around the world, meaning it would be harder to detect from ground-based radar systems. It's also capable of flying for 12 hours straight, and the craziest part about all of this is it's unmanned, along with, of course, all of the drones being unmanned as well. Which also do keep in mind, China has also previously operated long endurance drones, okay, which are pretty impressive models, whether that be the WZ-7 or the TB-001 Scorpion drone. What I find most interesting about all of this, though, is the fact that if you just so happen to look at the Black Ops 2 campaign, there's a part of the campaign of where you play in the year 2025. That being during a second Cold War between the United States and guess who? Yeah, you guessed it, China. Not that that really means anything, but it's pretty interesting nonetheless, you have to be honest. Hi guys, can you believe it? Ordering takeout in China is like watching a sci-fi movie. Last month, Miss Li in Shenzhen ordered a spicy hot pot and thought she'd have to wait for a rider to cross the evening rush hour. But 12 minutes later, 
a drone delivered box directly to her balcony, and her three-year-old son excitedly exclaimed, "Take out flies!" <laughs> That's right. Drone delivery has become an everyday occurrence in Shenzhen, Shanghai, and Guangzhou. These nights of the air will automatically plan their routes, automatically detour when they encounter tall buildings, and are waterproof on rainy days. Shanghai Zhangjiang office workers have the most experience. Lunch break, order a cup of coffee, ground delivery to half an hour. But the drone fifty minutes to airborne office area. What's more? Drones are still being upgraded. Hangzhou University pilot drone can accurately identify the dormitory balcony straight to the window. Next time you are traveling to China, you might be able to have your order of dumplings flown to you. Want to know more? Leave a message in the comment section. Let's have fun talk together. Now here's where things get even more intense. Mixed into China's drone arsenal are so-called mosquito drones. These aren't some sci-fi fantasy. They're palm-sized surveillance devices capable of recording, scanning, and even marking targets using facial recognition. In urban warfare scenarios or espionage missions, these little guys are game changers. Silent, nearly invisible, and operating in swarms, they're designed to overwhelm traditional defense systems. Social media in China exploded with images and theories about these mosquito drones. Many believe some were quietly deployed as part of the 11,787 drone display, not for performance, but for testing response times and atmospheric interference. American security agencies are reportedly scrambling to reverse engineer similar tech, but China may already be two generations ahead. Let that sink in. China's drones might be more coordinated than most Western militaries. These are the new drones made by China, and if you're not scared, there's something wrong with you. Imagine a million mosquitoes, drone mosquitoes, just swarming freaking something that is ours. Well, don't imagine that because that's awful. But it it looks like that's something that's pretty hard to beat. Like, how the hell do we beat something like that? You know what I mean?、Um, they're thinking they're playing chess while we're playing checkers. Guys, this is why I say China is living in 2050. Right now, I'm in Shenzhen, the tech hub of China. So behind me, you can see this is a drone delivery. Means they don't deliver food by man; they deliver food by a drone. Right now, I'm trying to order some drinks using the QR code here. <laughs> The international reaction: a mixed cocktail of awe, anxiety, and diplomatic awkwardness. European tech analysts applauded China's feat as a giant leap for autonomous systems, while Indian media warned that China's swarm could blind and disable rival nations before they know what hit them. Meanwhile, American networks, Fox, CNN, you name it, barely mentioned it. A few headlines, no deep dives. Why? Because the optics are terrifying. China is winning the tech race, and it's not even close. Meanwhile, TikTok, YouTube, and Weibo were flooded with comparisons: China's drone army versus U.S. budget overruns, Chinese precision versus American chaos, and endless memes of U.S. tech execs. Watching through binoculars while China breaks records, the people see what the media won't say. This is a power shift, and it's happening live. That was a clip of Korea's 2024 New Year drone show. I know it looked amazing. A lot of people think it is amazing, and it is out of the world. I agree, and I want to share one fun fact with you guys. The drone show is actually performed and designed by a Chinese company. It is called Da Mo Da. This is their company's website, and they're specialized on drone show. However, since they just started in 2016, they don't have a lot of money or funding, and they spend most of their money on the product and the show, which means they don't have a lot of money to promote on marketing. Even in China, not a lot of people heard about this company. But every time when we see their amazing drone show, we know it is definitely from this company. They also post the exactly same video on Chinese website Bilibili, saying it is very happy to collaboration with Korea. However, I'm a little bit sad that Korea did not even mention this company's name. Like the entire design and the product are all from this company. This is this company's YouTube channel. Again, like I said, they don't have a lot of money on marketing, 
which means not a lot of people know this company. And in 2020, it actually broke one of the Genius World Record for largest drone show. I highly recommend that you check out all their video on YouTube channel. Their drone show design and product are just amazing. Again, this video is not meant for hate. I simply just want to bring some publicity to this amazing Chinese owned company because their product is amazing, their technique is amazing. However, for some reason, their product usually get rebranded as Korean, but a lot of people did not know that. And as a Chinese, I wish nothing but best for Chinese owned company. Hope it helps. Let's be real. This isn't just about a light show. This is about infrastructure, discipline, and technological supremacy. China has mastered supply chains, trained engineers, and built an innovation culture that rewards precision and performance. The US? Struggling with TikTok bans and defense budget debates. While America plays politics, China plays long-term strategy and wins. This drone showcase wasn't just record-breaking, it was record-setting. It marked a new era of psychological, technological, and strategic warfare. Whether for civil use, smart cities, surveillance, or defense, drones are the future. And China? They're writing the rule book. If this trend continues, we won't be asking whether China can surpass the US. We'll be asking how long ago they already did. That's a wrap on tonight's deep dive into China's drone supremacy. From shattering world records to shaking up global diplomacy, China just reminded us all why it's not just competing, it's leading. And if this is where they are today, where will they be in five years? Let me know in the comments. Are you impressed, scared, or both? Hit that like button if you want more breakdowns like this. And don't forget to subscribe for the real tea on global power plays, tech wars, and why China just keeps winning. Adios besties and stay woke out there.